She's the youngest here on the reserve. She's about four years old and weighs about 4,500 pounds. Aww, this is her mother and her two older sisters. A fully grown elephant will eat between 200 and 300 pounds of food every single day. Ooh. Quite the appetite. And I will give credit to Donna, Stella's mother, for having not one of the largest and the least pink of all the flamingos in the entire world. Domingo. Domingo. Mingo flamingo. Grish? Grish? A group of flamingos is called a flamboyance. If you guys look really, really closely at Flamingo Island, it might look familiar to you. to be extinct in the wild due to loss of habitat. In Egypt and Morocco, a lot of their grazing area was taken by livestock. That is until the year... Look. They are the most endangered cats in Africa. Look, can you see? A group of cheetah is called a coalition. They're also the largest cats in the world in years. It looks like they're going back into their den. <laughs> Their roar can be heard up to five miles away. Male water buckle grow horns, but not the females. And they're given that name just because they drink more water than any other antelope in Africa. Not the most original, but that's okay. In fact, unlike other antelope in Africa, because they don't take up nearly as much space as other livestock, so they're not really taking away grazing area from wildlife. You can have a lot in a small area because they're so very social. The goats are a great example of how African villages are trying hard to become more self-sufficient and less dependent on wildlife. If you enjoyed your safari today, I'll see you this welcome to come see me at the front of my truck. Make a the windows are literally Make always open. Making it. If you would like to help us with the Disney Conservation Fund, you're welcome to donate no, at no, any no, merchandise no. location here at the park at the register. Any amount that you donate above one dollar, 